whichever your cue game is, a good cue action is required. You need to be aiming where you see. And complete the shot in a straight line. Every shot can be classed as a straight shot. Q line does not show the potting angle. Or how to play safety shots. It is to help with Q alignment, Q action and follow through. Q line lets you examine at home your true sight line. Practice with a guide. Check your rear arm alignment. Your grip. Smooth out your action. Stabilize your bridge hand. On a real table, play shots. The rest and make changes in real time. Mirror, guide, two feet, elastic. Peel off the mirror's protective cover and fit the elastic onto the top and bottom notches which give the mirror a vertical center line. The feet have one raised end and the main slot is for clipping into the mirror slot. The guide has a central hole and a vertical line notch at the top. It has four reference notches and the white side represents the cue ball side. The object ball side is coloured. The parts are slightly flexible but will snap if too harshly treated. The mirror will not smash like conventional glass. Some of your parts may be of a different style to those shown but the basic setup stays the same. Hold the mirror with the base down on a flat surface and clip the feet into the slots. Gently push down to ensure mirror base and feet are touching the surface. Make sure the raised ends of both feet are on the same side. This slopes the mirror slightly forwards or backwards to suit each user's particular stance. Remove the feet by upending the mirror and gently pull the feet down. On an ordinary table at home, place the mirror just under a cue's length away from the table end. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Pass the cue under the mirror so that the butt is level with the end of the table. Close one eye and by moving your head, align the mirror's center line through the center of your open eye. Without moving your head, align the cue to the mirror's center line. After checking your alignment with the other eye, open both eyes and without moving the cue, move your head either left or right to realign the cue and the mirror center line. Focus on the mirror center line and note its relationship to your eyes. If it passes through one eye, you are dominant in that eye. True alignment is through that eye and can be remembered by noting your chin's position through the center line. You can be dominant in either eye. Many will see two vertical lines in the mirror. And this is explained in the next clip. 
If your eyes are more equal, you will see two vertical lines in the mirror. Notice that each line passes through the center of each eye. True alignment bisects the two lines and is at the center of your eyes. If your head is perfectly upright, you can select a position on your chin and use it for all cue shots, as this gives you your true alignment. Approach the mirror and in your normal stance position, align your cue with the mirror center line, putting your head and eyes in your true alignment position. Either your dominant eye directly in line with the cue and mirror center line, or if you see two lines, as per the next clip. It can be clearly seen that the cue bisects the two lines and your eyes. This is not seen in all future clips, as the camera has a dominant eye and only sees one line. The guide can now be used. As previously, close one eye and move your head until the mirror's line passes through the center of your open eye. Slide the guide across so that the V notch at the top of the guide aligns with your eye and mirror center line. This time use the cue as well as the guide. The guide becomes an imaginary cue ball with a hole in the center. This clip shows the view with a dominant eye. As previously shown, find your true alignment and position the cue tip at the center of the hole in the guide. There is no need to push the cue through the guide at this stage. Notice that in a normal stance position, the player's head is no longer perfectly upright. This means that the mirror center line passes through a different position on his chin. And this is the position to remember in future to find his true alignment. Different head angles give different chin positions. Overreaching, standing up straighter with a rest, or cue ball tight on the cushion are examples of this. This is the view with two vertical lines. Again, notice the cue bisects the lines and eyes. If the head is not held perfectly upright, then a different position is required on the chin for the cue to pass through to give true alignment. With the mirror sloping up, take up your normal stance and look at the alignment of your upper arm behind your head compared to the mirror center line. The accepted normal action would have the upper arm in line with the mirror center line. Not being in line is not detrimental as long as the cue travels through in a straight line. If you do want to be in line, you may have to change your stance or even by straightening out your bridge hand will bring your rear arm into line. With the mirror sloping up for the following scenes you can look at your grip. Camera angles are difficult for some scenes. This one is taken from a slightly side on position. In use you would take up your normal stance in alignment with the mirror center line. Take up your true alignment and if needed, slightly raise your head to expose your rear hand. Play the imaginary shots and watch if your cue deviates from the mirror center line. Look at the whole shot from fully back to the end of the follow through. You may be addressing the ball in line, but not when you extend your arm for a complete shot. You may need to make changes to the way you grip the cue, your rear arm alignment, Look for twisting of the wrist, making contact with your body and the cue not staying level with the top of the table. Here we see the rear arm from side on using an additional mirror. Examine your rear arm movement. The accepted normal action has the lower arm approximately at 90 degrees or vertical when the tip is just off the cue ball. The lower arm angle can be altered by gripping the cue at a different position. During addressing the cue ball, the lower arm pivots at the elbow. Full shot follow through can either be a swing only from the elbow 
or by lowering the arm from the shoulder at the same time as pivoting from the elbow. This helps keep the cue horizontal. This is the rear arm in motion, showing the address and full follow through shot. Keep the cue horizontal. Loosening the grip by releasing the fingers during the backswing action will also help keep the cue horizontal, but always maintain a minimum grip between thumb and forefinger. Examine your bridge hand and see it from the other way round. You do not need the guide for this. Play an imaginary hard shot. If you see movement of the cue coming out of position, make changes until the cue stays in its most supported position between thumb and forefinger. Try this at home and on a real table. Grip the cloth with fingers for additional stability. It is widely recognized that not everyone has to have the accepted normal or theoretically correct cue action. There are many excellent books and websites that give tips on every aspect of Q games. Q line deals with one part of the whole game and is designed to let you see any changes that may be helpful. This is all carried out in real time and with practice can improve your game. Even a slight alteration can have a big effect and take you to the next level. When you miss a shot, especially at pace and with side or screw, it is not easily recognized if it was the wrong potting angle or your cue action. This is very true of long straight shots. This clip shows the missing of the blue ball. Look at the alignment after the cue makes contact. It is not in a straight line. Here we see the potting of the blue ball, but everything else looks the same. If the cue action was better, it would be very beneficial. Cue line helps with this. Taking the mirror onto the real table is almost the same as practicing at home. This clip shows a suitable position on the table to enable the cue ball to return to hand off one cushion. With one eye closed, align a cue with the mirror center line and your open eye. Have the butt of the cue tight against the cushion. If you want to keep your stance position, put a strip of masking tape on the floor and with a pen or marker, keep a reference of your feet. A change of stance can lead you into the shot much better and help with all of your alignment. Modern players tend to be very square on in an open stance. Mark the cushion with chalk to give a reference point for future shots without moving the mirror. This time, instead of the guide, use a real cue ball and align your eye, the mirror center line and the cue ball. This means that the cue ball is perfectly aligned with the mirror. If you repeat this process, any shots you play will be in alignment with the mirror center line. Notice the reference chalk mark on the cushion. This clip shows what you will see when playing a shot. A cue ball and the ball in the reflection which appears as an object ball. Shots that you now play may show up any possible faults or bad habits. Play the shot as you normally would and as good coaches recommend focus on the object ball in the mirror. This lets you address the cue ball and finally focus on the object ball before striking and following through. Many players struggle to see where they actually strike the cue ball because of focusing on the object ball. The mirror lets you do both. 
as you make contact with the cue ball, a slightly different result may happen. Look for the tip being in the centre. Any head movement, especially with shots at pace. Cue alignment after contact with the cue. Or the cue leaving or moving in your bridge hand. This clip is more accurate to full size and lets you see in greater detail what the mirror shows. Notice the player's cue moves to one side after contact with the cue ball. His head moves to one side of the mirror center line and the cue to the other. This appears to be whilst playing the shot with pace. He may have to smooth out his cue action or be making contact with his body or will just have to learn how to keep still on the shot. Line up the cue ball with your open eye as previously explained. Here we see the cue not being drawn back or following through in a straight line. The player needs to examine his rear arm action and grip. Twisting the wrist and or gripping the cue too tightly can cause this. He may also be making contact with his body on the follow through. This clip shows the two vertical lines seen by many. Notice a vertical line passes through each eye. The cue needs to bisect the two vertical lines, but deviates offline when following through on the shot. This clip shows one method of using the cue line mirror for putting side or English onto the cue ball. The cue needs to be parallel to the mirror's vertical center line for the cue ball to travel along the line of the vertical center line. This user is dominant in one eye and has the cue directly under that eye. It is not recommended to play real shots where there is the possibility of badly miscuing as the mirror can be broken if hit with the cue ball. There is a special guide available for practicing with side. Contact your supplier. Playing certain shots with the cue ball close to the cushion or in front of another ball requires the rear arm to be raised, giving a different rear arm action. Practice to maintain a straight cue action. A different arm movement is also required with the rest there are different grips of the butt and different actions. Practice to achieve the straightest drawback and follow through. Address or feather the cue ball using the lower arm and pivot the elbow joint. The full shot can also use the upper arm. A shorter follow through is the norm and a higher butt end. The spider rest is very similar to the normal rest but with a higher rear arm. This is a good table position to play shots as the ball is returned to hand off two or three cushions for the next shot. The guide can be used anywhere and is helpful for examining your follow through. The further you can push the cue through the central hole without making contact with the guide, the better. Try it with imaginary shots at pace. Practice can make perfect. To summarize, always remember to align with one eye closed and position the center of your open eye passing through the mirror center line and then line up your cue, the guide 
or the cue ball through the mirror center line. Once you have determined your true sight line, and your chin to cue's position with this alignment, take up your normal stance and with everything in line, look at any possible offline movement. Two other guides are available for practicing not only center of ball striking but also for striking the bottom of the cue ball for better screw back and the top of the cue ball for better follow through. Another larger mirror for examining your rear arm from the side is also available. It is made of the same shatterproof material and comes with the appropriate angles for setup. Any changes you may wish to make can take a while before improvement may be seen, especially if you are a seasoned player. It would be prudent for a newcomer to the game to make any changes more quickly, to try and stop any bad habits from becoming difficult to remove. Make one change at a time before moving on to another. Enjoy the game!